Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a problem number 5 which is based on convolution of signals but using inverse Z transform. So we will study a question first. And inverse Z transform of signals using convolution theorem, whereas my x of z is 1 upon 1 minus 3z inverse plus 2z raised to minus 2. So, first of all, what is my aim? In this type of question, we'll write this question into positive power of z. So, let's see how to convert this whole function into positive power of z. Now, this is my function. Now, how to convert both this numerator as well as denominator into positive power of z? So, just look at here. Here, the lowest power of z is minus 2. So, if I multiply numerator and denominator by z to the power plus 2 then this lowest power or all the negative powers will be replaced by a positive so look at here and right now I'm multiplying numerator by z square so z square into 1 is z square but in denominator what you can write this one is also replaced by z square now here the power is 2 and here the power is minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is plus 1 so 3 into z we can write only now the last one here the power is minus 2 here the power is plus 2 so z square into z to the power minus 2 bases are same so powers always get added so plus 2 minus 2 gets cancelled so and z to the power 0 is always 1 so i can write only a 2 over here now i will factorize or i will find out the factors of denominator Now we know that this last term is always product of two digits whereas mid term is always addition of similar two digits. So if we multiply minus 2 and minus 1 so of course you will get the plus 2 and if we add the same two digit that is minus 2 and minus 1 then your answer is minus 3. So my factors are z minus 1 and then another one is z minus 2. So right now I will flip both these functions. So let's say my first function is z upon z minus 1 and another one is z upon z minus 2. So let this is nothing but my x of z or x1 of z and this one is nothing but my x2 of z. Now I will apply inverse z transform on this equation. So let's say this is my equation number 1 x of z can be represented by x of n but basically the product of two functions which are in z transform if we're going to find out the inverse z transform of those two product terms then it is nothing but the convolution of two discrete separate different samples so let's say my discrete samples are x1 of n which is convolved with x2 of n so my x2 one of z was z upon z minus 1 now and my x2 of z is z upon z minus 2 if we are going to calculate the inverse z transform of this function then x1 of z can be represented by x1 of n whereas z upon z minus 1 is nothing but my unit step similarly look at here here we are going to use a time scaling property to find out inverse z transform so inverse z transform of x2 of z is x2 of n and z upon z minus 2 as i said this is nothing but my property a time scaling property so i can write a raised to n into u of n where my a is 2 so my x2 of n is 2 raised to n u of n now i will substitute both this value over here so my x of n is i will write x2 of n value first and x1 of value later on so this is my 2 raised to n u of n now you can write x1 of n convolve with x2 of n or else x2 of n convolve with x1 of n so i'm going to consider this equation like x2 of n convolve with x of n now i'll substitute both this x1 of n and x2 of n value over here so So it is nothing but the convolution of 2 to the power n u of n with u of n. Now I will use a definition of convolution. So according to definition of convolution, I am going to replace this whole function by my k value is from minus infinity to infinity. So first of all, I will replace my x1 of n by x1 of k 
एंड देन x2 टू ऑफ एन बाई एक्स टू ऑफ एन माइनस के और यू कैन राइट माइनस के प्लस एन माई एक्स वन ऑफ एन इज सो माई एक्स वन ऑफ के बी कम्स आई रिप्लेस ऑल दिस एन बाई के नाउ सिमिलरली माई एक्स टू ऑफ के और बेसिकली एक्स टू ऑफ एन इज टू टू दी पावर एन यू ऑफ एन Now, if I replace all this n by n minus k, then my x2 of n minus k become. This n is also replaced by n minus k, and this one is u of n minus k. Now I will substitute both this value in my formula. Now look at here. 2 to the power n minus k. We can split these orders, so you will get the answer 2 to the power n and 2 to the power minus k. Now, after splitting this power n and k, I will take 2 to the power n common. So that's why I have written outside the summation value, and the summation, the k value, I have started from minus infinity to infinity. Now, I can write this 2 to the power minus k like. we have a negative power so if i shift this negative power inside then we can write this to like 1 by 2 raise to k now i will multiply these two functions i have already multiplied this function in last numerical also but i'll show you how to multiply this function and what will be the result of this function so look at here i can write this u of n minus k like u of minus k plus n now i'm going to multiply both these function but after plotting a graph so first of all i'll plot the graph for u of k we will advance this u of k by value of plus n and after that i will add one delay and after that i will take the mirror image of the same now u of k basically unit step always starting from zero and it is having amplitude one throughout the time period and this graph is continuous and this graph is a discrete and it will vary up to infinity so this will count my n value also as well as my infinite value also and it is having amplitude one now if we advance this graph by n then this graph will be shifted on left hand side or else we can say that our graph will start from left hand side and the value is n and it will be continuous till infinity and having amplitude 1 but if we going to take a mirror image of this graph then basically we are going to multiply all the samples by minus sign so all the right handed samples shifted to left hand side so this last rightmost value of right handed signal is shifted to left side now i'll multiply minus sign with each and every instant of time so all the right handed samples will be shifted on left hand side and all the left handed signals or samples will be shifted on right hand side so the highest value was placed at infinity or you can say the highest time limit on right hand side was infinity now it will be on left hand side which is the placed over here and having amplitude one and so look at here after shifting this graph what you can say that all the samples are actually shifted on left hand side whereas all the left handed samples shifted on right hand side now simply i will perform the multiplication i will multiply u of k with u of minus k plus n so these two graph will be multiplied with each other now look at here on the left hand side of this graph we have amplitude which is zero but on left hand side it is having some graph but there is no use of this graph because all the amplitudes of left hand side samples multiplied with zero and zero into anything answer is zero so after 
taking a product of these two graphs, what you will get? My new graph will be starting from 0 and having amplitude 1 and which is a product of these two graphs. Now, we will find out the rightmost value. The leftmost value is 0 because on left hand side of 0 u of k is having amplitude 0 and on left hand side of this function having some sample value but there is no use of the sample value because they are going to multiply it with 0 and 0 into anything is 0 that's why I have not written anything on left hand side of 0. Uh, so our graph will start from 0 because in both the cases the 0 at or at 0 having amplitude 1. Now we will find out the last point. Now this graph u of k will vary till infinity but this u of minus k plus n is available up to n so after n this graph is having amplitude 0 and after n it is having some sample value but there is no use of the sample value because this sample value multiplied with 0 and after multiplying of course you will get answer 0 which means your product or after multiplying these two graph or these two functions you will get the answer up to only n and you will get amplitude over there which is 1 and in between 0 to n we will have the samples and all the samples will carry the same amplitude which is 1. So this summation will be replaced by or you can say first of all the summation value is replaced by the lowest value is 0 that is this and the highest value will be 1 and the product of these two terms is nothing but my 1 because after multiplying these two terms what you will get all the samples will having amplitude 1. After multiplying two functions my function is available only in between 0 to n that's why I have replaced this k value from 0 0 to n and in between 0 to n my product will gives us amplitude 1 so I have not written here one value because half raised to k into 1 is always half raised to k now I will solve this whole summation value by using one formula and the formula is summation n value varies from n1 to n2 a raised to n where I am going to substitute my n1 as a 0 and my n2 as a n and my a value is half So I'm going to replace all this value by these terms. Now, anything raised to 0 is always 1 and 1 minus half is always half. So I'll replace 1 by 2 raised to 0 is 1 and 1 minus half by half only. 1 upon 1 by 2 is replaced by or can be written as 2 only and inside the bracket what we have 1 minus half raised to n plus 1 now look at here here we have 2 to the power n and here we have 2 to the power 1 if the bases are same then powers always get added so i can replace this 2 to the power n and 2 to the power 1 by 2 to the power n plus 1 and this bracket remains as it is now if you want then you can multiply it by u of n or else you can write here here n value is greater than or equal to 0 because in the summation the summation value where the k value varied from 0 to n that's why I have written here the n value is greater than or equal to 0 and this is nothing but my convolution but using inverse z transform now we will solve a similar numerical in next video for that, stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda for further more videos. Thank you so much.